Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. So uh, before I get started, I just want to say uh, I'm going to be uh, changing uh, kind of the rules, I guess. Uh, basically uh, making it so you, you know, basically schedule of when when to call me and when not to call me because the phone calls are getting a little a little heavy, and you know I don't have anybody helping me yet. Uh, that's going to change in the next month, uh, hopefully. So. Um, yeah, it's getting to the point where I'm just spending my whole days on the phone, and uh, you know I'm trying to manage my time. But you know, a lot of you guys are very important. So I mean, or mo you know, all of you guys are very important. So I it's hard for me to not pick up the phone uh, when somebody calls. So, but anyway, on a letter note. So uh, tonight, guys, and probably for the next couple nights, hopefully. I used to play Call of Duty all the time. Uh, since I started doing this, unfortunately, it's taken a backseat, and I basically have not touched Call of Duty in like a year. Uh, so I kept hearing about Black Ops 2, and uh, I just couldn't help myself, so I got it, and uh, I'll be on tonight, uh, you know, later in the night, like around 8 or 9, I mean, depending on how I'm doing with uh, my pimp jobs or whatever. Uh, it's definitely the last last thing I have on my mind to do, but the next couple days I hope to be playing it a lot, uh, just at night, so uh, I'll probably be doing videos earlier and cutting it short, because I, I need that, guys. I need some kind of... Uh, yeah, because I, I just work from my wake up, and then I go inside, and I spend a little bit of time with my girlfriend, and I go to bed. So I want that uh, video game time again a little bit. I, I just I used to play all the time. So guys, come on there, join me. I don't know, play some shit, and I'll uh, basically own you. But you know, it's cool. So guys, tonight I got two pimp knives and a really sweet Warny Toad, a one of a kind from my friend Todd. Uh, I should call it the War Todd, but, you know. So I guess, yeah, the Southern, yeah, I love it. Yeah, I use this a lot today. As you can see, the brown is just all sorts of nasty. Uh, but my hands are especially dirty all the time. These are actually, I just wiped these off with some wipes, so. Uh, I had to wipe the blade off too, but I was open boxes. Great. Oh yeah, I got, got it wrong. I looked at the CTS and just figured it was XHP, but it's actually CTS 24P. I don't know what the hell that is at all. Uh, so far it's holding an edge, but I haven't cut much with it. And then one of my favorites here. Love that knife. So, first up guys, Manix 2 XL. I'm going to do this quick because I am um, trying to get in there and play some Black Ops. I also got Medal of Honor. but So this is uh, Spyderco Manix 2 XL. It's got the double diamond pattern. Coyote Tan, Sandblasted G10. Orange. Backspacer with gear pattern. Smooth as butter. Uh, it's pretty centered. Just need to tighten the pivot probably. That's, that's, that one is lubed up a little bit. Missed a spot. I love this pattern. Yep. So this is a Manix 2XL. Then I got a Zero Tolerance 0300. 030. Yeah, just 0300. I've never been able to modify the tie side of this, and finally I got to, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, maybe we're doing some other stuff to it, uh, but right now I like it. I like the way it looks, so right now I'm just going to keep it as is for the video. Um, it's got a stri strip of dirt on there. So, got the 300 gorgeous acid wash blade. Looks awesome. All logos gone. And you got the OD Green Reptilian. Always looking great on here. Heavily blasted. Uh, all the hardware has been blasted. I just love that OD look with the sandblasted uh, hardware. Just a nice, uh, it's like some, like a tank or something. I don't know. Auto's still intact. Flips nice. Needs to break in a bit, just a tad bit, but. You know, just gotta get some better lube up in there. And bronze the tie side. Pock clip uh, probably gonna be flamed or something, but uh, you can't see the bronze really. 
I really like that pattern there. The tips are all nice and worn. They keep that solid bronze in the uh, spaces. Sorry about that. Missed the flipper. All right, so finally, guys. Now this is the worn, worny toad. Uh, it's a one of a kind. I'm very happy with this one. Uh, it's my friend Todd. He's just done a lot of stuff for me, and uh, just a good guy all around. Good to talk to. Um, and he wanted this a while ago. Uh, this is the only one of its kind. It is S30V steel, thick ass titanium, uh, carbon fiber, and C Tech matrix backspacer. Pretty nutty. And a nice little custom pot clip, which I got some scratches on, but it's a bitch to take off and on, so I figured, you know, whatever. So you got nice hollow ground worn cliff, just straight as hell. I'll show you the grind in a minute. You got inset, kind of inset carbon fiber here, so like all around, you know, it's inset, so you can see the titanium. Uh, you got a flat, flat here for the stop pin, as well as the other side. It's kind of like that look. Um, then you see the little low ride pot clip. It's like it's nice and tiny, just kind of clip on. I gotta take it off and uh, get those scratches off, though. Jimping on top. C-Tech Matrix Backspacer. Not sure if I love it or if it's just too weird. It's kind of a cool look. It's kind of interesting. Definitely uh, something people will be like, what the hell is that in the middle there? But uh, I don't know if it looks good with it or if I should do just titanium or Something, I don't know, it's kind of up in the air right now, so. And I uh, can see that hollow grind. It's pretty thin. It's about halfway up the blade there. A little bit more. Nice swedge. Everything on this one is slightly bigger than any other toad. Uh, it's more exaggerated here. Uh, when it's closed, it's more exaggerated, like sticks out like a mofo, which I think is actually pretty damn cool. Uh, I like it a lot. It is, it is really comfortable. This is definitely my favorite uh, grip on one of these. Definitely slides right in there nicely. Good box opener. I mean, uh, it's pretty sharp. Uh, I got it really sharp, razor sharp, and a slice of paper, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, you guys know the results there. Uh, scorched earth on the tie side, dark as I can get it. Acid wash blade, again, uh, S30V. Jumping on there, I've not done before. Got a double stop pin in there. Some weird shit going on. Uh, I don't know, I kind of reinforced it. I'm probably not gonna do that again. Just, I don't know, adding weird stuff just for the hell of it. This one's just all sorts of weird, so it's kind of cool. Or it is cool, I like it a lot, but I just wanted to be totally different, just with some strange things here and there, just odd details, like the inset uh, carbon fiber, the weird C text matrix there different grind. Uh, there's the natural pattern on there too. Can't see it too well. This thing weighs a ton too. For something so small, it weighs about the same as the 300 here, which is just crazy. Um, 
actually feels heavier. Let me switch hands here. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter, I guess. It's close though, very close in weight for such a tiny thing. I just want this thing to be a little tank, uh, kind of like a cleaver shape. Just a little beast. Yeah, it's really wide too. <laughs> I still really like that actually. Put together and I was like, ah, and then I was like, yeah, I like that. It's even wider than the ZT, which is a pretty wide knife to begin with. Get that little tip sticking out there. So fill your pocket up nicely. But this is more of a collector's piece. I mean, it's definitely a user for sure. It's nice and smooth. Got the nylon washers in there, which I find work best. The friction folders. I like it though. And finally, after a very long time, uh, I finally got my steel. I mean, all the stuff with the jerseys, steel baron, and all that stuff. Uh, with this, with no, not with this steel baron. Uh, the um, what do you call it? Um, Sandy Hurricane Sandy. They're located in New Jersey, so I guess got the steel today. Got a S35 CPM 154, big sheet of A2, long ass sheet of AB. And a big, big, big piece, uh, another big piece of A2 steel. I like A2 steel, guys. I know a lot of people aren't, aren't aware of what it is or how it works. It's pretty much like 01, a little bit better. My experience with it has been very positive. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing the same treatment as like the 01 with uh, acid washing, because it does rust very easily. So, but uh, if it's anything like 01, which it is, um, yeah, it'll seal it right up. Because the 01 I have here, it's been acid washed, does not, does not rust at all. I don't know, I can't even make it rust for some reason, it just won't. So that's a good thing. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, it's my beastly tripod here. Good, uh, a good guy on USN sent this to me. Um, probably the coolest freaking tripod I've ever seen. It's like OD green. It looks like you can mount a freaking gun on there. It's awesome. I can lean it all the way over top and forward and all that stuff. And it goes like all the way up to the damn ceiling. But uh, a little tripod thing. So guys, yeah, hopefully I see some of you guys on Call of Duty tonight. Uh, hopefully it gets on there in time. If not, you know, I probably go to bed around one or, well not sleep, but you know, I get off at like one-ish. But uh, if I'm not on tonight, you know, send me a request. I don't know if my friends list is full or something like that. I'm trying to, I kept trying to take off all the old friends I used to play with years ago, but I, you know, it's just so much, it takes a lot of time to sit there and go through each one. But anyway, ranting. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Peace.